Have you ever had this happen to you? You're flying an approach down to minimums, either an actual IMC or with the hood on. Here, we're on the RNAV into runway 17 in Aurora, Oregon, using the vertical guidance of the LPV to go down to a decision altitude of 511 feet. We've got the glide path indication, that pink diamond on the primary display of the G1000, dead center. Just as we approach minimums, we start to see the runway lights poking through. We have the runway threshold lights in sight, and so can descend to land per 91175C. But we're surprised to look at the two-bar VASI off to the left and see two red lights. Red over red, are we dead? We check the glide path indication again, and it still shows us dead center. What happened? Well, it turns out we should have done a better job briefing this approach. Let's look at the plate, and specifically check out the profile view towards the bottom. There's two pieces of information to call out here. First is this note saying the VGSI and RNAV glide path aren't coincident. VGSI, or visual glide slope indication, is the array of lights letting us know if we're high or low on the approach. In this case, it's the VASI lights. They're used by both VFR aircraft and IFR arrivals transitioning into the visual phase of the approach. The note is saying that the path the VASI lights make is not coincident. It doesn't match up with the glide path from the RNAV. Then in parenthesis, it says what the angle is, three and a half degrees, and that it crosses the threshold at 38 feet. Over on the right, the RNAV glide path information is noted. The glide path for that is a standard three degrees, and it crosses the threshold at 40 feet. So there's two parameters, the angle and the threshold crossing height, that determine what the glide path will be from the VASI or from the RNAV. On a precision approach like an ILS, a glide slope antenna is situated to the side of the runway, usually at the aiming point. A signal is transmitted for the glide slope that the aircraft follows. On this RNAV, it's the same idea, it's just derived off a GPS position rather than a transmission from the ground. This glide path starts at the ground, around the aiming point, and moves upwards, crossing the threshold 40 feet above it. It makes a 3 degree angle with the horizontal as it extends further out on the approach. The VASI is a bit different though. Here's a view of runway 17 at Aurora. The aiming point is a thousand feet down the runway. This is where the glide path is taking us to, having us cross the threshold at 40 feet. The VASI lights are shown on the other side of the runway, one near and one far. They're designed to guide aircraft to a point midway between them. Here, that point is about 500 feet before the aiming point. Normally, like the glide slope antenna and the point the VASI lights are taking you to will be the same, the thousand foot marker, that aiming point. But here they're a bit different. The RNAV glide path starts at the ground at the aiming point and works back at three degrees. The VASI works by having its high and low bars both showing white and red lights. Their midpoint is before the aiming point and they're oriented to provide a three and a half degree glide path, which looks something like this. It crosses the threshold at 38 feet, just a hair below the crossing height of the RNAV glide path. An aircraft flying visually will see a red bar over a white bar when on the VASI glide path. If it gets above the glide path, it'll see two whites. If it gets below, it sees two reds. The RNAV glide path, though, sits below the VASI glide path. They're not coincident, as the note says. So when we're on an instrument approach following the RNAV glide path guidance down, we arrive at the decision altitude have a look up at the runway, and because the RNAV glide path is below the VASI glide path, we see red over red. We should expect to see this thanks to the note, and now that we've transitioned to visual references, we should transition from following that RNAV guidance to now following the VASI. There's no need to overcorrect though. Just because we see red over red at first, that RNAV isn't going to fly us into any obstacle. We just need to slowly arrest our descent, get onto the VASI glide path, and continue down to the runway. These notes have been added to approach plates whenever the VGSI and glide path angles don't coincide, either because the angle is different or the threshold crossing height is, or both. And they apply to precision approaches in RNAVs with vertical guidance like this one, as well as to non-precision approaches that publish vertical descent angles that don't match up with the lighting. It's all there to cut down on the surprise factor and panic on short final. Working on your instrument rating? Want to be as professional and solid in the cockpit as you can? Training programs like the Flight Insight IFR Online Ground School will help you take your knowledge to an elite level and get you ready for your exam and checkride. Check it out now by visiting flight-insight.com IFR.